In this video, we're going to update our current password reset system so that we'll be able to send emails to the user's email address before they're able to reset their password. Currently, we have a forgot password link here. If the user put their email address here and then specify a new password and confirm password, we allow them to reset their password. The downside to this is if someone else knows your email address, they could just enter your email and uh, put a new password and then they are able to reset your password. So obviously we don't want this to happen. So a more secured way would be to have the user fill in their email address. And uh, when they fill in their email address, we'll be able to send a link to that email address. So if this is the valid user, they will be able to see the email and then click on the link inside the email that will send to them. So this is going to be very easy to implement considering how far we have come in this course. All right, I'll go over to test editor. Basically, I have created a new file here, password recovery link. And uh, what we have here is simply what I showed you in the browser just now, this page. This is exactly what we have in that code. We have a form here and this form contains two control. We have a feed for the email address and also a button. Let's go over to our past password reset.php and here I'm going to show you the modification that I did. Here we're checking if the button is clicked. If that button is clicked, we're going to do all what we've been doing before. We're going to initialize our form arrays and we're going to declare our required feed. Uh, this time we're just going to require only the email address. And then we're going to check if the feed is empty. If that feed is empty, we're going to populate this array uh, with that message, which we have in our validation. Next, we're checking if what was entered there is a valid email address. If that is false, we're also going to store the message in our form error arrays. Then next, we're checking if the form error array is empty. If it is empty, it means that we are good to go. The user has entered a valid email address. What we simply do next is to collect the email address and then we create our SQL statement. SQL statement that we have here simply queries the user's table and selects all the information for the particular users that the email address was entered. Here we're using the prepared statement to prepare our SQL query and then we are executing the statement here uh, supplying the email address that we collected here. So uh, by now, all this should be clear to us what we are doing here. Then next here, we are checking if a record exists in the database. If a record exists in the database, then we'll be able to get the username, the email address and the ID of the user. And then immediately we encode the ID using the base64 encode PHP function. Next, what I have here is the email body or basic HTML. And uh, we have the H2 here and we have a paragraph here which says, Dear username, to reset your login password, please click on the link below. And here I have included a link to another PHP file, which is going to be our forgotpassword.php. And then we are sending the encoded ID of the user as a URL variable. So when the user clicks on this link, we'll be able to retrieve this ID and then allow the user to update their password based on the ID that we're retrieving here. Okay, next we're just preparing the email, setting the email address and also the username. And then we set a title and then here we're actually sending the email. Next we're checking if the email was actually sent. If the email was not sent, we're going to display the actual error message from PHP Mailer. But if the email was sent, then we are going to display this message, password recovery, password reset link sent successfully. Please check your email address. And then we display the success message using our sweet alert function. And the other S statement here basically checks if the email address provided by the user is not valid, then we display this message just like we did previously for the old password reset script. And here we have the PDO exception. If there was any error message from the SQL statement executed, we're going to account for that here. Okay, let's do a demonstration of this. If I enter an invalid email address and click on recover, says the email address provided does not exist in our database, please try again. 
And now if I enter a valid email address and click on recover passwords, it's going to say password recovery, password reset link sent successfully. Please check your email address. All right, I'm going to log into my Yahoo mail. And right here we have the email here, password recovery. Okay, now if I click on this reset password, nothing is going to happen essentially. It's just going to take us directly to the password reset form where we can allow the users to reset their password. But now you take note that we are actually sending the ID as a parameter. So in this password reset form, we need to actually capture this ID that was sent here and then decode it. Okay, let me show you how to do that. So in our forgot password page, we're going to check if that variable was sent, the URL variable. If it set get of ID, right? If you look at the URL again, you can see that the name here is ID. So if it is said get of ID, then we're going to actually get the value and say encoded ID equals to get of ID. Next, we're going to use the base64 decode function to decode the ID, base64 decode, and then we just pass it the encoded ID. Next, we're going to use the PHP explode function to break this into an array so that we can extract the ID of the user. Here, we're going to put the string that was used to encode the ID. And here, we're going to put the decoded ID. All right, I'm just going to grab the string. This it here, and then I'm going to paste it here. Next, to get the ID of the user, we assess the element in position one in the array. ID array position one. This will give us the ID of the user. So let's echo this out to see if we get the ID. Go over to the browser and do a refresh. And here you see that we actually get in the ID of the user. Okay, the next thing we need to do here is to send the ID as an eDIN variable. So we're going to remove this feed for the email address, and then we're going to add that eDIN variable here. Type eDIN, name, user ID. Then value is going to be, check if that ID is set. Set ID, and just echo ID. Next thing we need to do now is to go to our pass, password reset file. And then we're going to check the part where the password reset button is clicked. We know all the check that we're doing here. And now we're going to be removing this. We're no longer going to require the email address. And then we're not going to check for this anymore. Okay, this should be ID now. Let's just double confirm what's the name we use here. User ID. So this should be user ID. And this should be ID. This is the ID, this is the new password, and this is the confirmed password. And here we're still keeping the check. We're checking if password one is not equal to password two. So we just display this error message if that's the case. Otherwise, we're going to be selecting from the table. Now we're going to change this to ID, and then we change this to ID, and then we change this to ID. And here we change this to ID. And uh, finally, we change this to ID and then we change this to ID. So we're going to update the user's password if the ID matches what we have retrieved. Don't forget that here we are checking if the actual ID that was decoded is valid in our database. And uh, if that is actually found to be valid, that means when this statement is executed, that ID actually exists then we are going to ask the password which the user is supplying. Actually, nothing changes here apart from just the ID parameter that we are passing here. And uh, also we need to change this ID. And then we need to change this to ID. Okay, every other thing remains the same. So now let us test out the functionality. You can see from the top that I also included the send me functionality for the first part which we explained, which sent the email to the user's email address. Okay, so now we're going to go to the email address and uh, click on the reset link. 
okay here's the form and then i'm going to put a new password then click on reset and right here we're able to reset our password all right take there. Okay, this is how easy it is to uh, do our password reset functionality using email. And one last thing we need to edit will be in the login page. We need to change this link to the password recovery link. Save and uh, refresh. All right, so this will now take us to the password recovery link.